Good morning everybody, it is April and the time is 7 a.m. I hope you all doing well. So, as you saw on the thumbnail, we have to harvest the parsnips, but I have also another thing because I have also bought an item for 80,000. We bought the corn header for a couple of episodes ago, but I have sold that again because I found another corn header that I want instead. <laughs> and it is all... Equipment is all together here. The big parsnip harvester. This is an item I have leased because it cost me 400,000 if I should buy it. But maybe i want to buy it later on but here we got the new corn header it is a crosoni corn header foldable it is so cool almost eight meters and maybe you ask hmm you don't have a cornfield but we're gonna actually we're gonna plant the cornfield right now and then we have to use for carding, we're gonna use the Ford and the case and the two trailers. And for planting, we're gonna use this beast here. So we're gonna put a worker on that field. And we need the we need the blender in there, the NC blender. We're just gonna take it right here. And the parsnip fields that I want to harvest right now. That is the field we're gonna plant some sunflowers in that field. And I can show you right here in the crop calendar that we're gonna harvest the parsnip. There we go. And then we can see the sunflowers right now. And we can also see, or rather, plant corn right now. But I have actually just thought about a thing. I think we need to put some lime on that field and then we have to cultivate the field as well yeah this is just me i want to cultivate every single field that i put lime on i know it is not necessary but i want to do that yeah as you can see there there ph value it is bad so we have to set the planter right there and then we have to lime the field There we go. At some point, I think we're gonna start the harvest of the parsnips. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh, of course, we're gonna do that. And the new lime spreader we have over here. I have also looked for a new manure spreader and I want to buy that as well. I have also taken a contract, a fertilizing contract on field number 10. So we can get some money. Oh, it is full. That is nice. Oh, and it is heavy. Yeah, a fertilizing contract on field number 10, so we can get some cash from that field as well. Oh man, it is a beast on wheel wheels, this lime spreader here. And there he goes. We're gonna lime that field now. Amazing stuff. We have missed some here in the start, but we're gonna look into that later on. And when the field is limed, then the fed also gonna cultivate the field. Actually, you know what? I think we just can plant the field. The reason why I am cultivating the fields is when I'm doing the montage. I don't like to do it when the fields is all white, but I'm not gonna make a montage here, so we're gonna plant the field directly on that. Okay. And there we go. I have, before I started to record, record, record. <laughs> before I started this episode here, I have done some out to drive routes and so we can sell the crops, the parsnips. Yeah. And I cannot remember where to sell that. I think it was at the sawmill grain. The best price was... 
Yeah. I am actually quite sure, so we think we're gonna... Oh. I got a little press there. I think we're gonna... Do a... Yeah, this combine here, and we're gonna take it to field number... Is it 34? Yes. Field 34. It is right there. And then we're gonna take it to... Sell and sawmill grain right there. Oh, yeah. And I think if we're gonna put it here, then we should be able to do it. There we go. And we was inside the trailer right there. And then we're gonna take the case and do the same exercise with that. The trailer. And then we're gonna take it to field number 34. There we go. And there. Are we gonna sell at. Um, where is it? Sawmill grain? Just I like that. Come on, move forward, please. And then we're gonna take the big harvester here. Look at that. It is so big. And it is nice. So cool. I'm gonna start a montage with this and... Oh man, look at this. It is really, really nice. We're gonna start a montage here and in between I'm gonna start the planting of corn in that field. And look there, the case is arriving there. The course is just, I can show you that. The course is here, yeah, it is confusing to look at, but I think it will work. And we have to choose field 34 here as well. I don't know where he is driving right now. Oh man, that was strange. I've never seen that before. Okay. So we're gonna turn off the beacon and then we're gonna unfold here. Oh yo. That is amazing. And there we go. We're gonna start the harvest. I don't know what it's up to those tractors here. They are moving all the time, but anywho, that's the way it is. And I don't know where he is driving right now. Oh man, come on. Let's go out on the field and start. Oh, that's me. I am a little bit stupid right now. I was on auto drive and not cosplay. As you can see here, we've got 500 liters of water. That should increase the yield. What are you doing? Okay, I have to look into this. And we're gonna try again. First waypoint, go. This will take a long time, three and a half hours. That is crazy, but I do got the time, so. And we are harvesting with 10 kilometers per hour, three meters, and we're gonna get so much money. I'm just gonna write down, right now we got 249,000. And then let's see how much we got when we are full and as you can see we have on, on already 50 percent that is crazy this will take a long time three and a half hours that is crazy guys and we are on time three and i think the line is going very well on the other field 
And when it's run out of water, then I'm not going to fill it up again. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here, so it is not that noisy in my headphones. Now we are already full. Look at that little strip there. We are full. And I don't know if they will come now. Yeah, I can see it on my screen. They are driving up here, so... He will arrive now and empty this. Yeah, this will be good, I think. At least it will be good to do the harvest and get it out of the way. I could also choose to plow the field, you know, but... Yeah, why do that? We gonna get so many liters from this. That is crazy. There is the tractor and a bumpy field. Are we gonna unload in the trailer and then we can continue? Yeah, I'm a little bit curious to see how fast it will unload. I think we're gonna set the times to times one so we can compare to the real time. Yeah, there we go. So right now I can tell you the time is 2.18 exactly. 2.18 p.m. in the afternoon here in Denmark and it is Thursday the 26th of September. So, we should be done in just around 5.30 p.m. I think. Ah, uh, that's crazy. But we can actually check how the lime is going. This is the combine. I think we're gonna pack that. We can also pack this. And this. There we go. Ah, it is 50% done, so that is good enough. Now we're almost full again. Well, I think I'm gonna let him do some headlands. Maybe I'm gonna record some of the headlands, some, yeah, you know. And then I will see you when we are done. Remind me that I'm never 
never gonna do that again. <laughs> Almost six hours and we are not done yet. That is totally, totally crazy. Almost six hours guys. And I took the truck in use. So, <laughs> man, that was, yeah. But look at the money though. Now we have to be positive. Look at the money, 724,000. And we're gonna sell this load as well. And we are there with this. And we got 9,000. No, we got 975 liters back. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I don't want to look at this anymore. Holy macaroni. That was... Oh, needs plowing. Okay. So we're gonna... Put some pH, we're gonna put some lime on here, and then we're gonna plow the field. Yeah. I think we're gonna do that, but look at the money. That is awesome. Awesome stuff, actually. But we need to continue here. We got the cornfield. It is seeded or planted. We need to roll the field. And... Um, I think that... I think the case can roll the field, uh, yeah. And then we can take the fence and then we can, yeah. Yeah, take the fence and we can plow, first line the field. Oh, don't talk while you're driving, Papa Mike. What I was about to say was that we can take the fence and we can line the field and we can plow the field. And this one here can roll the field because I think it has enough horsepower for that. I have tried to calculate how much we have harvested in that parsnip field. And I think it is just around 1.2 million liters. And that is a lot when I look at the money then I am now I'm glad that I did not plow up that field when I bought it so yeah that was a good money injection despise that <laughs> it took so many hours yeah almost four Almost six hours, yeah. The time here in real life is now 10 minutes past eight in the evening. So, yeah, that was crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. And this field here, I cannot remember if I got any. Do I have a roller saved here? Oh, I just look at it because I'm a little bit tired perhaps. Field 40. Roll. Yeah, we do have that. That is very good indeed. And then we can say first waypoint and go. So we're gonna roll that field and this is just selling this. And yeah, the truck is just done. So we can send that to the farmyard. And there we go. And you are there. Oh, I need the fent. I think I've packed the fent. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've packed the fent in the, in the menu, in the system. So we're gonna land that field and then we're gonna plow it. And then we have to plant with some flowers. Yeah. Oh, I think we need to fill up some lime here. Uh, 
And first of all, as far as I remember, we got some bags over here. Yeah, we got bags right there. We also do have the silo, but I think we're going to fill up here first of all. With those bags we got here. I don't know if we can have them all. I don't think so, because they are 4,000 liters each. But... Then we're gonna use them another day, another time, in another episode. Yeah. So I do really, really hope that you like the montage, because it was actually quite difficult to make, because it took that long time, and also that the harvester get full that quick. It was, yeah, it was not easy. And we are selling right now the last load, as you can see the top right corner. 10,134 and 374 in, in our mental scope reward. So that is... That, that's good. So we need to get that back to the farm, but not right now. Let's reach the sawmill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. Oh, this field was just so big to harvest with that little combine. No, the combine is not little at all, but 3 meters working with and then 10, 10 meters in... Not 10 meters, 10,000 liters in the harbor. Create job. Uh, we have 12 meter spread. I think we're gonna do three headlands, 10 meters, and we do have the sharp corners, 10% there. Generate course. And there we go. That is good. And we're gonna do this. First waypoint. And go. So he will. Oh, that's the tough guy. That's the tough guy. Yeah. He will align this field, and then we have to plow the field, and yeah, that is what we're gonna do. You are there, what are you doing? Ah, oh, you are still rolling, that is good. Yeah, he can pull, she can pull that easily, and we have to get this back to the shed. The load truck trotter. Load trotter. <laughs> yeah. Now we go. Just like that. Perfect. And this one here in the noise. We have to get that back to the farm. Just like that. We are on 729,000. That is very nice. So, what we need to do now is to fertilize this field, and we also still got the fertilizing contract and then we need to plow this field, seed the field, roll the field and fertilize the field but I think we're gonna take this field in the next episode. Yeah I think that will be I, I, yeah, the best to do because that will take a long time to do. Now look at the line down there with the spreaders. It comes down there. Nice. I like those small animations that the models are doing. Yeah, this is very good. So we got a little cornfield here and we're gonna get a big sunflower field over there. And if you not have seen the last episode, the reason why I'm doing like this is that we're gonna get a better price for sunflowers and not not that good price for corn so that is the reason we're gonna do that i'm just 
sitting here and look at the diesel situation. I do hope we got diesel enough. Because this one here has drive a lot back and forward with parsnips to sell. So I hope we got enough. And the lime spreader, you can see that in the distance. Over here. Looks very good. And now I hit the shit. <laughs> now the field is rolled and ready to go. We need to fertilize the cornfield as well. And we also do have the contract field number 10 to fertilize as well. The liming went not good. Not good at all. Because it was stuck. It should, re it should reverse, but we got the dolly trailer, so it was stuck, and so it has not limed that much, unfortunately. But that's the way it is, and I knocked over the fertilizer spreader, did I? There we go. <laughs> we're gonna fill up, and then I think, first of all, we're gonna fertilize the cornfield. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And then we have field number 10 to fertilize. And this should not take that long time, I think. Oops. So... Because we are spreading with... Is it 42 meters? I think it is. So, that is very good indeed. But the field is rolled, and when we have this fertilizer put on then the cornfield is good to go then we just have to concentrate us about the big field the big sunflower field so that is very good and as it is right now mm, yeah you know what we don't have to do the contracts because we got a lot of money, but now I have taken the contract, so I, I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, we're gonna lose some money, and I don't want to lose money at all. And we're gonna spread with 42 meters, so field number 10 is fairly quick done. So no problem there at all. I feel like that I have made an episode there is, you know, hours and hours and hours long because of that parsnip field, but in reality, I have right now, hmm, I don't know, 16, just around 30 minutes, I think, and yeah, <laughs> ah, look at the, uh, look at the lamp spreader again it is stuck again so we need to jump over to this oh man that's bad it's because i've set it to sharp corners and i need to set it to smooth corners that is the best option yeah that's the way it is right so we're gonna <laughs> start again and this is not a cosplay course so this I'm just going to do myself, nice and relaxing. There we go, and then I think we're just going to set up a GPS right there. Yeah, this is just like driving in the snow in real life. Eh? And just, I think, one time down and one time's up, then I think we are done. Oh yeah, precision farming, I don't need to turn off the fertilizer spreader. That's right. 
I forget that. Please, please do like my video and please comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you not already are subscribed. It means a lot to me, you know. I am close to 500 subscribers. I really want to get to that point. And from that on, we're going to continue and then we're going to hit 1000, I hope. <laughs> yeah it really means a lot to me that you guys like what I'm doing here more that you can ever imagine this is what I'm doing I, I'm not doing anything else but, but this I have no job because of a big accident on my work for yeah that must be six years ago now so this is what i'm doing i am unable to work no more unfortunately well i think that is it yeah that is it we're gonna drive to field number 10 but first of all we're gonna turn off the gps and then we have to fill up this fertilizer spreader again so we have I hope we have enough because field number 10 is a little bit bigger than this um, I, yeah I'm just gonna time lapse that field I think come on yeah there we go we're gonna fill this up and then we can drive to field number 10 nice now we go and we have to turn on some lights and some beacons as well oops it's a little bit back heavy now we're gonna get lime on the field and i think that he can managed to do it without my help now that could be awesome right and i think field number 10 is to the left here and yeah you know what i'm not sure actually um yeah it is all the way down there okay oops we have to be in the right side of the road right Yeah, this is cool. I really like this case, but it is also one of my favorite tractors. 306 horsepower and you can just style this as you want. It is quite cool. So I think it must be to the right yeah it is the field right here yes 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 that's cool and we're gonna turn this on yeah amazing stuff i think this is a potato field or parsnip i oh, know not parsnip i think this yeah it is a potato field I'm not gonna harvest this, that's for sure. I am done with root crops for now. <laughs> six hours. I'm just saying six hours. Yeah. What will you not do for money, right? Let's turn the hot off. And then I'm gonna see you when we are done with a little time lapse here.
there we go. The contract, contract, <laughs> the contract is finished. I hope. I have not checked it yet. But before we're gonna drive out of here, let's check. And we got 36% left. That is quite good, actually. And I cannot remember what we're gonna get. We're gonna get 48,000. That is very good. So we're up to 777,829 right now. That is really amazing. Really amazing. I don't know what we're gonna do with all those money. I think we're just gonna take it nice and easy. Could buy some more cows though. Mm, yeah, that could be an option. I cannot remember how many cows I got because it is a couple of episodes ago since I have serviced the cows last time. But I know we have to feed the chickens very soon. And now we got a bucket. I do hope I can feed the chickens with the bucket. That was the main reason why I bought that. I also need to look in to have a manure spreader so we can spread some manure. And the lime spreader is done, that is very good. So the next episode we're gonna take the plow after the fin 1050 there and we're gonna plow up that field and gonna plant some sunflowers, roll the field and fertilize the field. Yeah. And we are back. That is awesome stuff. I think we need to back in here, reverse in here. Then we can set the spreader right there. And turn off that engine. That was nice. So let's run down to the telehandler down here. We also need to... What is wrong with that header? First of all, you know what? I think we're gonna take the combine and... Get that new corn header in the shed. I'm looking forward to give this corn header a spin, that's for sure. I think it's quite cool. I like the Cressoni things. You know, the grain headers and also this. I've never used this before. And I am not lined up at all. I didn't know it was a thing, this corn header here. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit front heavy. Ah, that is good. And I think we can just put it... And yeah, I think we're gonna put it right here. Yeah, that was actually... Why can I not do that? There we go. Just like that. Then we can put the combine here again. Something like this. I think that is good enough. And now we're gonna take the telehandler and the bucket and see if we can feed the chickens with that. Last time I tried to use a small trailer, but the trailer was too small. So we could not fill up any grain from the silo. Unfortunately, but I think we're gonna try with this bucket now. That should be possible, right? I hope. I'm gonna put the box right there, and then we're gonna take the shovel. I think it's a 3000 meter shovel. Yeah, I think something like that. 
Ooh, like that. <laughs> And then we're gonna drive to the silo and see if we can manage to get any crud out of that. Oops, that was the wrong way. Something like this, I think. Yeah. Bali. 5,000 liters. Okay, that was a lot. I don't think we can have 5,000 meters up there, but oh, it is heavy. We got the weight. Oh, that is cool. Five thousand meters. Yeah, it is heavy. Oh, we got some wool to sell as well. We're gonna do that in the next episode. Because I think we're gonna start right here in April as well. I don't think this is a high tip bucket, so... Oh... We have to hit the right spot, otherwise it will not... There we go. Will they take it all? Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. We're gonna put this back in the silo. And we got some wood there. That is very good. All my tasks, all my jobs are done for today, all what I have planned, so that is very satisfying, I must say that. Then here off game, I'm just gonna put the lime spreader in the in the shed again and there we go, there we go. And then I'm gonna prepare the plow. No, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna take the plow together next time. And then we're gonna plow the field. And I do hope I can manage to fertilize. Not fertilize. Good morning, Mike. Um, plant the field here in April next time. There we go. The chickens are fed. That is very good. I'm gonna turn off the beacon as well. And we're just gonna put it right here. Yeah. That is good. Listen to the silence. Yeah, that's nice. And then we can... What is that roller doing right there? I've just said it there, haven't I? And I think the total max Russian production is good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of food as well. Food stuff. And let's check. Just check the cows. It should be sure if they got straw and food and so on and so forth. I don't know how much milk we got here. Food, mm, that's okay. Until next time, at least. And we got a lot of milk 18,000 liters of milk, and straw is perfect. So, slurry that's a whole nother story. We got so much slurry over here in this tank here. So, yeah, that's the way it is, right? And one more last thing. I cannot let you go. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah, that's right, sheep. How about the food here? Yeah, they are okay. And water is fairly okay. Thank you for watching. And take care of yourself until I see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye.